in 1904 in the small village of Lardirello, Italy, Pierre Conte was the first person to use geothermal energy to generate electricity. He made a tiny device that generated enough electricity to light five light bulbs in his workshop. Lardirello was in an area that had many hot springs and natural steam vents. Here is Conte's geothermal electric generator set up. What Conte did was basically stick a pipe down a natural steam vent. Here. Yeah. The steam came up out of the ground and went into a heat exchanger. The natural steam contained a lot of boric acid, sulfur, and other corrosive minerals, and Conte wanted to keep these out of his steam engine. Here. So the natural steam went into pipes inside inside the heat exchanger. And this natural steam turned clean water inside the exchanger into steam. The natural steam then was vented out of the top of the heat exchanger. While the clean steam entered the steam engine which used the reciprocating piston. This was attached to a large flywheel which smoothed out the engine's action. The small steam engine could produce only three quarters of one horsepower. It was hooked up to a 10 kilowatt electrical generator. The steam engine could only get a fraction of full power out of the generator. It was enough to light five light bulbs. When the spent steam was vented out of the engine, it went into a condenser where it turned into water and was reused later. In 1911, Conti began building the first commercial geothermal system. It generated only enough electricity to power the small village of La Derelo. For many years, the small geothermal plant in La Derelo was the only one in existence in the entire world. One of the reasons for this was that there were few places on Earth where natural steam comes right up out of the ground. In most places, the geothermal energy is far under the ground and is harder to get at. Nikola Tesla studied the problem of geothermal energy and in 1931 came up with a design for a geothermal plant that could provide large amounts of electrical energy for cities around the world. Geothermal energy is a clean, renewable energy. It is a great source of energy for the future. Here is Tesla's design. In Tesla's plan, a hole is drilled deep into the ground. If necessary, the drilling would go from three to five miles deep. The depth of the hole would vary from place to place. The drill hole would reach a layer of water heated by the magma of the mantle. The water is heated to 300 degrees centigrade. Deep in the ground, the water is under tremendous pressure. This means the water stays in liquid form. It could not expand in order to turn to steam. The hot water rises up through the insulated pipe. As it rises, the hot water eventually turns to steam. The heat in the water is what drives it upward. You do not have to pump it. 
once the steam reaches the surface, it turns a turbine which spins a generator which produces electricity. This goes into a transformer and then into the city's electrical system. After the steam leaves the turbine, it goes to a condenser where it is cooled and turned back into water. The water is then pumped back to the hole. Once at the hole, gravity carries the water down the hole to the bottom, where it is heated up again. This creates a sustainable energy source. The heat from the process comes from the inexhaustible heat in the Earth's mantle and core. Geothermal energy can be cheaper than fossil fuels by 50%. However, how cheap it is depends on how close the mantle's heat is to the surface. The deeper the heat is, the more expensive it is to drill for it and to capture it. Today, about two dozen nations have geothermal energy plants based on Tesla's idea. Geothermal energy is an inexhaustible source of energy that someday may supply all the energy needs of the human race.